हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर जगजीत वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गुरु रामदास एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी वी प्रोवाइड वीडियोस ऑन रेकी मुद्रा साइंस एंड अदर स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस एंड वी सी दैट पीपल आर लर्निंग लॉट फ्रॉम आर चैनल आई एम स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश टुडे बिकॉज पीपल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड कैन गेट द मैसेज ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी that human race is one we have to fight against this covid-19 pandemic with full dedication and godliness today my purpose of making a video is to remove the fear from the people that covid-19 SARS-CoV-2 is a dangerous virus according to the medical science it is believed that sars cov2 is not a dangerous virus it is not a dangerous virus it is as simple as other kinds of viruses but why it is trying to cause infectivity in great number of people all over the world in masses that i am trying to today elaborate through this video so please watch the video till end and subscribe so that people can understand that this virus is not dangerous first telling about the virus corona virus i would like to say that we have to be more preventive in our behavior and our thoughts how to be preventive in our behavior and thoughts is one of the criteria of fighting against pandemic covid-19 that is caused by sars cov-2 that is severe acute respiratory syndrome corona virus 2 the report suggest that in december there were more number of cases recorded from sars cov-2 pandemic why the infectivity is more i would like to explain you that this is not a dangerous virus somehow the virus has undergone severe mutation in its viral genome its viral genome is an rna genome and it contains a rna which is a positive single stranded rna and now this genome has shown mutations mutation means that there have been lot of transformations changes due to which the virus have become more violent against the people and it has become communicable disease it is concerned with public safety now how does this virus works how a person to person transmission is observed in lot of cases why the incidence rate of corona virus infection is increasing suppose a healthy person is in close contact with an infected person and whenever the person coughs or sneezes it releases some respiratory droplets those respiratory droplets are micro droplets they are of magnitude of 10 to the power of minus 6 meter that is micrometer they are micro droplets and these micro droplets are encasing that viruses they are enclosing that viruses the viral particles are enclosed within them by the nature and behavior these micro droplets are moving in the air they are moving in the air and as a result of that movement the virus is spreading from one person to other person resulting in human to human transmission now 882068 confirmed cases of covid-19 have been recorded the confirmed cases are 8 lakh 82068 as per the as per the data as per the scientific data 
and 44,136 confirmed deaths have been seen. Now this virus has become violent because of its mutation in its genome and resulting in human to human transmission. It is also believed that this virus has a very strong relationship with animals. It has a strong relationship with cows, pigs, chickens and in 1930 first case was domestic was found in a domesticated chicken uh, reporting about upper respiratory disease later three decades after this virus was found in humans there is no only one coronavirus that is responsible for human infection in respiratory system there are four other types of strains that are responsible for causing infection in humans they are they are human coronavirus 229e human coronavirus oc43 sars cov that was reported in 2003 hcov nl63 that was reported in 2004 hku1 in 2005 mers in 2012 and sars cov in 2019 so only coronavirus that was found in 2019 is not the alone virus that is responsible for human respiratory tract infection i have already given the detail about other human coronaviruses that are responsible so why to fear about why to fear about this virus we are fearing about this virus because it has been exposed to mass and media. But don't panic. There is no need to panic. There is no need to bring anxiety. There is no need to go for suicides. Just be calm. Pray to God. Everything is in control. And I would like to share more information on coronavirus. Now coronavirus is reportable in animals and it was found to infect humans now coming to the human transmission it was reported in Middle East uh, through MERS that is Middle uh, East Respiratory Syndrome and this SARS-CoV it is causing severe acute respiratory syndrome now what is this virus doing in respiratory system what it is doing in your lungs, what it is doing in your bronchus that I would like to share in more detail. Now first the virus is entering the human cell. How it is entering? Through micro droplets that have been disseminated in air which cannot be seen through electron microscope which can be seen through some laser special cameras. Now when it enters a healthy person it is binding to the cell a cell is a very structural and functional unit of all living organisms and when it is binding to the cell the virus through binding to the cell membrane is entering into the cytoplasm of the cell and through its cytoplasm and within the cytoplasm of the host cell it is undergoing replication and through its replication it is producing million copies of viruses and that virus is breaking the cell so this virus is doing its natural activity and as a result of which we are seeing the symptoms so fever is reportable cough is reportable in 47% of cases then shortness of breath is seen so these are the main symptoms that are to be kept in mind while we are seeing while we are talking about the virus now after this the virus is causing viral pneumonia viral pneumonia means a person will have a recurrent and persistent cough and as a result of it, 
he will not be able to breathe properly and there will be a requirement of a ventilator and after viral pneumonia there can be viral bronchitis viral bronchitis means there are small respiratory tubes which are further bifurcating into the chest and those tubes are getting inflamed and infected by virus and that is known as viral bronchitis now this is a very similar picture like tb in tuberculosis also we are seeing same type of clinical picture fever cough shortness of breath weight loss everything but why not tb is considered as pandemic because tb cannot be a pandemic as it is found in india there can be a mutation but still it is not able to infect large masses so on a safety concern there have been a lockdown all over the world and i have also suggested some mudras in in my old video that if you do those mudras your immune system will get strengthened now this is the work of the immune system the virus is infecting the cell it is infecting the immune cell and as a result of it it is causing infection and there are symptoms seen now coming to the treatment side still there are no vaccines or treatment drug of choice that is available but still there is a concern for treatment as more number of new cases have been reported all over the world so doctors are doing their work nurses are doing their work but we have to be precautious we have to maintain a safety and caution that we have to stay at home we must not go outside we have to avoid social gatherings not going to parties abiding by the rules of guidelines of the government if 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 we are a citizen of india we have to abide by the indian government if we are a citizen of canada canadian government if we are a citizen of uk we have to abide by uk, UK government so governments are doing their necessary steps to prevent the spread of this disease but on the other hand we have to be also more aware about the virus which is going as pandemic now coming to the treatment hydroxychloroquine is one of the alternative which can be given in severe cases of covid 19 caused by sars cov 2 now i would like to explain that hydroxychloroquine is used against malaria malaria is a parasite malaria is not a virus malaria is a parasite so hydroxychloroquine is not an antiviral drug but god has given an antiviral activity and due to that antiviral activity it is a game changer it is it is it can be used until vaccines are not disposed so hydroxychloroquine how does it work hydroxychloroquine is sequentially blocking the steps of viral replication it is blocking the xeroxing of million copies of viruses so that the virus does not infect other human cells and so the symptoms get abated now hydroxychloroquine also has an immunomodulatory property immunomodulatory property means it can modulate the immune system it it is able to activate nfkb genes nfkb is a transcription factor which can activate immune genes now when these genes are activated it will 
make the immune system more stronger and it will again and it will work against both virus and it will strengthen the immune system so hydroxychloroquine is a treatment of emergency along with that we are giving azithromycin azithromycin is a macrolide it is an antibiotic and it is stopping the translation of machinery that produces proteins in this case viral proteins now the virus is using our machinery to manufacture its own components in layman language i am explaining so so that azithromycin will block it so that will stop the production of more viral proteins and as a result of it that is useful so combination of hydroxychloroquine plus azithromycin is useful in treating covid-19 caused by SARS-CoV-2 so here the treatment is available so people don't panic just see my video understand that it is a very natural tendency and there is a treatment available but don't self medicate with these drugs go to the hospital if you have symptoms if you have fever cough go to the hospital the hospital will take the responsibility of treating you thanks for watching my video in future i would bring more educational videos and more intuitive videos please subscribe to my channel and be cautious stay at home thank you